The growing anxiety among workers about the impact of artificial intelligence on their jobs and mental health. Generative AI could impact or even eliminate 300 million jobs. AI anxiety. We're looking into the growing anxiety among workers about the impact of AI on their jobs and mental health and concerns about the potential elimination of millions of jobs. A recent Hot Topic article discusses the growing anxiety among workers about the impact of artificial intelligence, AI, on their jobs and mental health. The launch of ChatGPT has started to transform the workplace and people are concerned about the rapid growth of this technology. Professions such as legal assistants, programmers, accountants, and financial advisors are feeling threatened by generative AI that can quickly create human-like prose, computer code, articles, or expert insight. In fact, a study published in March suggests that generative AI could impact or even eliminate around 300 million jobs, according to Goldman Sachs analysts. That's a significant number. It seems like many workers are worried about their job security. The article highlights the story of Eric, a bank teller who believes his job will become obsolete within the next 10 years. He plans to change careers because his bank is expanding AI research. Right? And it's not just workers in traditional industries. Even people in creative fields like entertainment professionals are concerned about AI being used in film and television production. They see it as a threat to actors and screenwriters, which is currently causing strikes in Hollywood. It's interesting how AI is creating an atmosphere of apprehension similar to climate change and the COVID-19 pandemic. However, some therapists are encouraging their patients to embrace the unknown and find ways to use new technology to their advantage. Yes, exactly. The article also mentions a graphic animator who felt threatened when AI-generated images started rivaling human-created ones. This person is now considering transitioning into a management level role because they believe fewer positions will be available in the future. It's a difficult situation for many people. Chief Technology Officer Peter Vukovic believes that only 1% or less of the population will benefit from AI, leaving the majority concerned about their future. He questions whether AI should solely be used to automate jobs or if there are other ways to utilize it. And that's a question we should all consider. How can we best use AI to benefit society as a whole? Is automation the only purpose, or can it be channeled to serve other needs? It's a complex issue with no easy answers. Today, we're talking about generative artificial intelligence, also known as AI. This technology has been getting a lot of attention lately, with many people making bold predictions about its impact on society. That's right. There's been a gold rush around these AI tools like ChatGPT and Stable Diffusion with claims that they can understand and think like humans. But in reality, they don't understand anything at all. Exactly. These AI systems are designed to generate media, like text or images, rather than actually understand or reason. They may create text that appears to be thinking or reasoning, but it's all just an illusion. And because of this illusion, many investors and startups have jumped on the bandwagon. Billions of dollars have been invested in generative AI companies with no clear path to monetization. But here's the danger. These AI systems can have harmful effects. For example, earlier this year, a chatbot designed to replace helpline workers at the National Eating Disorders Association actually encouraged disordered eating behaviors. That's just one example. Generative AI systems are also prone to producing misinformation, racism, and sexism. They can make up fake cases in the legal field and respond with hateful or abusive speech. And it's not just workers and consumers who are at risk. Companies that license these tools may unknowingly expose themselves to biases and misinformation. Regulatory censure and fraud are also potential risks. But there is some pushback happening. The Writers Guild of America is striking against the use of AI in Hollywood studios, knowing that they could be laid off and replaced by AI-generated material. And artists and computer scientists have created tools to protect their work from being used to train AI models. They're also suing the owners of these AI tools to test the applicability of copyright law. This resistance sets the stage for regulation. U.S. federal agencies have warned companies not to assume any AI loophole and have asserted their jurisdiction to regulate even automated actions. We call on regulators across governments to follow their lead and address the identified harms of generative AI. 
It's important not to be fooled by the hype around artificial intelligence. The impact of AI on organization design. We're looking at the impact of artificial intelligence, AI, on jobs and organization design, exploring both the optimistic and cautious perspectives on the topic. So throughout history, disruptive technologies have often been met with fears of mass unemployment, but these fears have usually been proven wrong. Remember the Luddite fallacy. Yes, exactly. The Luddite fallacy refers to the mistaken belief that new technologies will lead to widespread job loss. However, history has shown that these technologies actually create more jobs than they eliminate. That's right. And the optimists argue that AI will continue this trend. It will create more jobs, make jobs more skilled and interesting, enhance job security, and even have a positive impact on physical and mental well-being in the workplace. Absolutely. AI is expected to lead to a 26% increase in global GDP by 2030. So there are definitely reasons to be cheerful about the impact of AI on jobs. But there are also reasons to be cautious. The economist William Nordhaus believes that we are still a long way from an economic singularity, where superintelligent machines render humans economically superfluous. That's true. And there are other concerns as well. For example, AI may displace low-skilled, repetitive work but expand high-skilled work. It may also create a false sense of security and could have a huge impact on trust, especially regarding privacy at work. Right. And there's also the concern that tools designed to increase efficiency and reduce waste might do so at the expense of personal autonomy. And let's not forget the pressure to be always on because AI never sleeps. Plus, if we become too dependent on a few tech giants, it could have negative consequences for humanity. So we need to be cautious and consider the implications of AI. Absolutely. There is the very real need for organizations to adjust in the face of AI. As traditional roles are eliminated and new ones are created, organizations will need to adapt quickly, invest in upskilling and reskilling, and decentralize decision-making power. And managers will need to demonstrate more judgment-related skills, such as creative thinking and data interpretation. Managerial spans may widen as AI reduces the need for direct supervision, and organizations may become flatter with quicker decision-making and greater innovation. And finally, it cannot be stressed enough the importance of organizations working together with AI to gain a competitive advantage. It's not about AI coming for your job, but rather someone wielding AI. That's a great point. So it's important for organizations to embrace AI and make the necessary adjustments to thrive in this new era. Knowledge-based jobs could be most at risk from AI boom, the potential impact of generative artificial intelligence on workplace productivity, the economy, and job loss. So according to McKinsey, the rise of generative artificial intelligence, or AI, could bring about a new era of productivity in the workplace. It has the potential to automate up to 70% of an employee's tasks, saving them time and boosting profitability for businesses. That's right. The consulting firm estimates that integrating generative AI tools into the workplace could add a whopping $4.4 trillion annually to the United States economy's gross domestic product. That's a significant gain. Absolutely. However, as with any technological advancement, there is a downside. The implementation of generative AI could lead to job losses, particularly for knowledge-based workers like software developers and marketers. Right. These knowledge-based workers are at a higher risk because their jobs often involve tasks that can be automated by AI. This could result in companies cutting jobs since employees won't need as many hours to complete their tasks. McKinsey Global Partner Michael Chu emphasized the need for workers to adapt to this changing landscape. He mentioned that reskilling, flexibility, and the ability to learn new things will be crucial for employees in the age of generative AI. Absolutely. And it's not just software developers and marketers who will be affected. McKinsey also highlighted customer service operations and marketing as fields that could be transformed by generative AI. For example, AI-powered chatbots could provide quick and personalized responses to customer inquiries, reducing the need for human representatives. That's a great point, and it's important for workers to stay on top of emerging technologies like generative AI and understand how it fits into their respective fields. Being at the forefront of adoption can help individuals stay ahead in the job market. Definitely. However, it's worth noting that not all jobs will be transformed overnight. Rodney Zemmel, a senior partner at McKinsey, mentioned that companies are still in the early stages of utilizing AI technologies effectively. So there's still time for workers to adapt and prepare. Right. Zemmel used the example of Google's impact on jobs. While some jobs were undoubtedly lost, 
companies didn't completely restructure because of the work no longer needed in document retrieval. It's a reminder that the transformative power of AI takes time to fully manifest. Absolutely. So in conclusion, generative AI has the potential to revolutionize the workplace and boost productivity, but it also brings challenges and potential job disruptions. Workers need to be proactive in adapting to this new reality. Always get the latest AI dope. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks.